welcome to my very first review. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Today I bring you the System 51, made by Swatch Group. You might well ask, who is the Swatch Group? Well, it's the world's largest watch making company and supplies nearly all its components for the 18 individual brands that it owns. Those brands include Breguet, Glashute Original, Omega, Longines, Tissot, Hamilton and of course Swatch to name but a few. Movement wise, the group owns ETA. The movement in System 51 is an ETA C10111. It is specifically made for the System 51 and consists of 51 parts, 5 modules, and 1 centre screw. And it's 100% Swiss made. For the asking price of £108, it is a great automatic. movement has a 90 hour power reserve. It is 30 meters water resistant, consists of a plastic case and the movement is made of an alloy of copper, nickel and zinc and has anti-magnetic qualities which presents the movement needing no adjustments over time. The movement is hermetically sealed, so cannot be serviced. Therefore, there is no need for a regulator. Instead, it is set by laser during production. Its dimensions are 42mm wide, 50mm length, and 13 millimeters thick. Inside you can see the beating heart of the ETA movement. The dial of the watch is a constellation design and consists of six red dots which represent six of the 19 jewels that the watch movement has. You can see the white dots and those represent the world points on the movement. It does have a date aperture which uh, is very small um, and um, can be quite difficult to read. The hands themselves are loomed on the ends and the second hand is red and really pops. The beat rate of the movement is 21,600 beats per hour. So the movement itself is very accurate. I've had this watch for just about 12 months now and I've had no issues with timekeeping. The dial itself and uh, the case are made of plastic and are uh, uh, translucent. Um, so uh, uh, it's very much in the line of uh, their uh, quartz watches and uh, just trying to get the angle see if we can uh, show you that translucence there we are you can see the inners of uh, where the, the strap um, joins the watch very unique design and uh, has pinholes for easy um, strap removal. On the rear of the System 51 you can see the mesmerizing design and the rotating rotor. As you can see the slightest movement rotates the whole rotor which is bi-directional. You can see from the rear that it has the proprietary 
strap system therefore strap choice um, is limited to the uh, swatch uh, watches uh, themselves as you can see on the wrist it uh, fits very nicely 42 mil um, it's just a nice size and it's very comfortable on the wrist really enjoyed my time with the uh, Swatch in my collection. It's uh, one of my fun pieces and uh, I'm fascinated by the um, technology that uh, the watch uh, encompasses with uh, it being completely uh, machine made. It's um, in intuitive with uh, the watch industry and the uh, Swatch group have innovated in many ways the way that um, manufacturers are now looking at the process of making watches and making a uh, system where it uh, creates a brand um, that is different to uh, the traditional um, automatic serviceable system. Um, this one is a um, more throwaway um, concept um, which a lot of people will find uh, rather distressing that after so many years of use the watch um, when it stops then that is the end of its day. But um, as an overall um, watch I find that um, it is very easy to read and um, very comfortable on the wrist. See why it has got uh, such a cool following now and I hope that um, the Swatch Group continues to innovate and uh, push the boundaries. I hope uh, you've all enjoyed the uh, first look at the System 51 and uh, this is the first of uh, many of my uh, watch collection and I hope over the next uh, few weeks and months uh, you'll join with me in enjoying uh, these moments uh, of my collection. Please um, leave a like and a uh, comment and I will see you next time. Bye for now.